Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mindro Crypto. Today I have VeChain Vet update. Let's see what it will do. Why it doesn't go up like many other altcoins and of course a possible price prediction and technical analysis. If you like the content, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell button and share. I, I honestly can't be so thankful for all the support guys we take on the channel. Thank you so much. And of course, we will go now to the technical analysis, the support levels. I have some more of a short midterm support levels because you can see here guys I've drawn the Fibonacci retracement starting from the top of 16th April down to the bottom of 23rd so in case I, I thought from the time here that we would go upwards so I wanted to find some important resistance levels and of course you can see that these important resistance levels are actually working pretty pretty fine for example here we went from this Fibonacci retracement up to this we found resistance down to this almost we found resistance again on 0.618 three times resistance level we went up to 24 to 25 then went down again we are finding support and resistance levels in those prices so this Fibonacci retracement actually works pretty fine what we want to see here is to maintain the 20 cents and of course go above the Fibonacci golden ratio 0.618 otherwise 20 cents 22 to 23 cents so these are our major support and resistance levels resistance levels 21 to 22 22 to 23 and 25 support 20 and of course if we fall down 18 to 19 cents our major support levels we want to have and hold so right here as we go down what we don't want to see here is lower lows and eventually on the MACD in the 4 hour frame after this bearish cross we couldn't manage to go above we are experiencing now some lower lows we of course don't want to go down from here downwards okay we don't want we want to avoid going down and retesting this support level and eventually going down from below so we want to avoid that and we want to see soon going upwards we want to see a recross here between the second line and the blue line and of course to regain some strength some distance okay this is very very important so we are going to the commodity channel index the reason we are going up minus 100 for the four hour frame on the short term we are going up and what i told you guys is that i want to see higher lows and higher highs i don't want to go back into low commodity channel index right now back into minus 100 and below because that would mean a further more retracement for the VTAIN VET USDT okay in the USDT in the four hour frame same with the RSI we weren't below the 30 but of course I'm just holding into commodity channel index for the short term I trust it more because it tells you exactly when you have a buying opportunity for the very short term for the next one to two days and you can manage to have five to ten percent profit target so here we had an oversold situation there for buying opportunity for vitain and we went upwards guys so right now for the rsa and the commodity channel index, we don't have buying opportunity for the ssl channel we are having a buying opportunity for the short term however the ssl channel told us we are having a buying opportunity here and we actually retraced all the way down to next one to two days so the short term might not be good enough to have a buying opportunity we might want to check other indicators as well. We are going to the Bollinger Bands. We, we go to the top line of the Bollinger Bands and we retrace back in. You can see here, guys. Now we are inside the uh, between the top line and the bottom line of the Bollinger Bands. And of course, the Bollinger Bands are very nice risk metrics. That means we are we can measure risk sometimes like this, for example, here where we went down. We went extra extending the top line in the daily frame when we do that in the daily frame we usually have more of a correction going on okay so right now where are we according to the relative strength index and the commodity channel index guys where are we we are inside the minus 100 and the 100 that means we don't have any overbought or any oversold situation but what we want to see here we want to see here higher lows okay we don't want to go down from this bottom here we want to see higher lows not going down and eventually we can go upwards like ninth man here and more okay so right now for the rsi we are having the same we are between 30 and 70 and of course here we want to go upwards we don't want to go into lower rsi we don't want to break this support line 
right here because breaking it that would mean we could go further down for the daily frame and right now we have the MACD guys we have the MACD things we got rejected here was very crucial we wanted to go upwards so we could see the very the VTN approaching the 24 cents to 25 even breaking the 24 to 25 but instead we are going downwards having more of a distance between those two lines having more of a distance the blue and the orange line so what we want to see here is a recross a recross guys between the signals the signal line and the orange line for example and the blue line the macd that's what we want to see right now so we are going to v10 against bitcoin to see why aren't we going upwards like many other outcomes for example okay here we had okay here we had an upward situation at around 10 percent and so I, that's why i told you guys when the Kokomo channel index is below the minus 100, have a profit target at 5 to 10 percent because you can see here we went exactly to 5 percent. And if you were late and you haven't bought at this bottom, then we were actually had a 6 percent target, maybe even less. So you have to have the 5 to 10 percent target profit. So right now, why are we, aren't we going up? Because Bitcoin goes up, guys. But we had this bearish cross on the 4 hour frame for VeChain. That's why now we can't go up because Bitcoin pushes up, but VeChain can't follow. We are going downwards on the VeChain against Bitcoin chart. So this means if Bitcoin goes up 5%, then VeChain has to go up like 5 or more percent in order to see a major movement like this. 5 or more, because right now Bitcoin moved upwards while Vitin went upwards against Bitcoin okay went a little bit more but you can see here it is down it is falling down Bitcoin falls down but it didn't have it didn't manage to have this percentage that we needed to see Vitin going more and more upwards towards the next resistance level so we found resistance here on the 20 day MA almost we saw the cross between the 10 day and the 50 day MA what we don't want to see is a further distance between the EMAs because if we see that is the 20 day MA does something like this then we will retest a bit more approaching new support levels maybe retesting some major support levels for example this one guys or maybe even lower okay so we want to see upward situation here we want to see the rsi having higher lows and higher highs because right now we are having lower highs on the four hourly frame okay we need to see an upward situation for the for the v10 against bitcoin so right now we go to the v10 against daily frame in the daily frame we are still looking strong guys for the midterm we are still looking strong so you don't have to worry about anything for now because right now we are having the 20 day ema as our support level the 20 day ma is above the 50 day ma so do not worry about the midterm okay for now you don't have to worry about it and we are talking about the short term and possible price action we might we don't want to fall for example down from this important support line because in the case we do then we will consider trying to uh, to have some other major support levels okay so we don't want to see going breaking through beyond this point we are having some lower highs here pretty significant lower highs we want to get into a squeeze point into a squeeze point momentum where we can actually break through and go upwards again so right now we are going to the price analysis and the price analysis in the usdt we are having this bearish cross hours we had back on v10 against bitcoin the four hour frame okay so we are experiencing this what we don't want to see is a further distance i want i don't mind this bearish cross as long as we don't get further distance between the 20 day the yellow line and the red line because if we get some further distance this would mean guys that we could actually potentially have some pretty lower support levels and right now what we want to see the major target for short midterm price action is this target guys the 0.618 fibonacci retracement which we made as our support level back here then we found resistance at 24 to 25 cents so if we break this eventually eventually we are looking forward to do to go to the 25 so a good buying strategy would be 
22 to 23 cents, 25 around there cents selling order. So of course we go down for the short term. Okay, you can go that and have this buying strategy for the very short term. If you want guys to hold, of course you can hold. This is your up to you. You should do your own research, not the financial advice. But here, what we are seeing is that 50 day MA crossing the 20 day MA. We don't want to see further more distance and we want to keep some major support levels. For example, we don't want to go back from to the support level. In the previous video, guys, that it went fantastic, guys. I am so thankful for that. I told you that we will go up due to the commodity channel index, but we might find resistance in the 21 cents. So we did. So we couldn't move upwards. We went downwards now correcting even little more so right now what we want to see 20 cents to 21 as our support level making some new lower highs high lows and eventually breaking the 22 cents because if we break the golden ratio we have a clear buying opportunity by what by that what i mean by clear buying opportunity minimizing the risk it is the most important thing one of the most important things in the cryptocurrency market next one is being Patient guys, being patient, control your emotions. A technical analysis is all about emotions. It's 80% your emotions guys. So if you control your emotions, if you stabilize a bit, not forming into one price for example, if you stabilize a bit your actions, you are going to hold your future in your hands. You can do it. I want you to learn through my videos. I want you to do technical analysis by your own. You can, even if you are a beginner, you can grow your portfolio, but you have to have emotion stable, your emotions not panicking. You always have to take into consideration that corrections amongst the days can be like 30% down or we can have like 10, 20, 30, 40, even higher percent pump ups. So here we are in the cryptocurrency market, high volatility. You should control your emotions. No one, if, if someone tells you it is very, very easy to make money, they are wrong. It is not easy to make money because right now you might make money, but the other day you might lose them in the cryptocurrency market. So you have to control your emotions. So right now, what we want to do, we want to not to panic if we go down furthermore. Okay. First of all, we need to see the V chain in the short term breaking through the 20 to 23 cents. Does V chain look good in the midterm? Yes, it is looking very, very good for the mid long term. What we need to see right now is holding those support levels. If we fall down from this support level right here, we could eventually go into lower support levels. Right now, we don't want to see a further distance between the 10 day and the 5th day MA. We want to see a price action for V chain like this. V chain looks very, very good for the mid long term and i think we can easily surpass the 24 cents in the midterm we just want the momentum here which we want to hold some support levels and of course guys as we dip down you can buy the dip not all your money into 20 cents not all your money into 20 cents not all your money into 18 cents not all your money into 16 cents but as we dip down if we dip down lower then you want to buy more to invest more because we you eventually sometime we will go upwards and then you will surely surely take profits okay especially for vchain that we expected for this year to go even higher so right now you should remain focused you should remain stable for those who bought at the top do not worry never sell your position because if you sell you have to lose something and of course for now a good buying opportunity would be above the 22 cents because mainly we we minimize the risk and of course, now we need to see not regaining some further distance between the 10 day MA and the 50 day MA. As long as we are above the 200 EMA, we are totally fine, guys. We are totally fine. We are above the 200 EMA. If you zoom out and look the idea here, the daily frame, then you can see we are absolutely good. Sometimes you have to zoom out and just be prepared for actual pump up. Okay, if you if we zoom out, look at where how we have been doing, guys. Of course, do not worry about the very very short term. But right now, I want to be honest with you, and I want you to realize that we need some swift momentum to change this correction right here that we are seeing lower highs. Okay, we need some momentum shift right here, and we need to go 
upwards we don't want to see further distance from the 50 and the 10 day ma thank you for watching have a fantastic day wherever you are of course see you soon with many many more videos and you can join our telegram group chat where i have the link in the description down below guys thank you again stay safe please and bye